Hey guys, how's it going? So, I ended up picking up this hammer here for about five bucks at a garage sale. But if you can see, the handle up here is a little worse for wear. I think someone was trying to hit something with it, ended up missing a couple times. So, just because I've never done it, I want to try making a new handle for it. So, that's what I'm going to do. Check it out. I start by taking the hammer over to the bandsaw and cutting the handle off of the head. This left a chunk of handle in the eye of the hammerhead. So I head over to the drill press to drill out some of the mass of the wood to loosen it so I can knock out the rest with a punch, which happens to be just an old nail. And then since the hammerhead was in really good condition otherwise, I really didn't need to do much in terms of cleanup. All I did was attack it with a wire wheel in my drill press at its highest speed. It worked out fairly well. Once the hammerhead was cleaned off, I went over to my lumber rack and pulled out the board of ash that I had stored there. I took it to my table saw and cut off a one and a half inch strip. This will be my handle. Since I still had the original handle for reference, I pulled it back out of the garbage to cut myself the same length of ash. Setting my measurement back from the damaged quarter and cutting it the size on the miter saw. Since clearly the hammerhead isn't going to fit on the new handle as is, I hold the hammerhead up to the end of the handle and mark out the size of the eye. Then I clamp it down into my portable workbench. Oh ah, man, I need to get myself a proper vise. I clamp it down into my workbench and this isn't the right tool for the job, I know that. I don't have a spoke shape though, or a sharp knife, so this is what I'm gonna use. Using my small three inch trim plane, I start planing the handle down to size. It took me a while to adjust the cut depth to the sweet spot where it would still make a decent sized cut, but not take enough off that it would jam up on me. Eventually I got there. Once I started getting closer with the size of the eye on the handle, I took the hammer head and jammed it onto the handle. Wherever the head left marks on the handle, I planed it down further. Eventually I remembered that I had a set of files, so I used that as well to finesse the fit at the base of the hammer head, since the top of the handle was clearly fitting through the eye as is. Now that the hammer head is fitting onto the handle, I turn my attention to the hand grip portion of the handle. I begin to shave it off with a trim plane again, though I realized that I wouldn't be able to do inside curves with this. So I took the handle over to the bandsaw and just eyeballed the curve out on both sides of the handle. Then I brought it back to the portable workbench and filed down the hand grip. After I had the hand grip filed down, it didn't feel right proportionally. I took off way too much material back here. It looks stupid. I took it over to the miter saw and zipped off the two inches at the end of the handle, followed by a quick filing to chamfer off the corners at the bottom of the handle. To secure the head to the handle, I'm using the cutoff that I had and at the bandsaw, I cut a small wedge off of it and finesse it at the belt sander. For the handle side of things, I drill a small hole at the base of where the hammer head will be, and with the bandsaw, I cut a slip through the handle, stopping at the hole. This is to prevent the wedge from cracking the handle further down into itself. Then with the head fit onto the handle, I glue up the wedge and tap it into place until it broke off. Okay. I, I guess this is enough, I don't really have a choice now. I would have liked to have used a little bit more of the wedge, but the hammer head seems to be fairly well secured in place, so I guess we're good. At this point, I still wasn't 100% happy with the handle, so I broke out the trim plane again and shaved down the handle a little bit more. Then I broke out the sanding pad and sanded down to 120 grit. To prevent rust forming on the hammerhead, I finished it with some paste wax. Then for the handle, I used two coats of tongue oil. Since the handle still stuck out of the top of the hammerhead, I took it back to the bandsaw to flush it up and treated the ends of the handle with tongue oil as well. So for a project full of firsts, first time working with ash, first time carving a handle, first time restoring a tool, and first time using tongue oil, I'm really happy with how this project turned out. I have it sitting over in my hammer rack for quick easy access to grab whenever I need to close a paint can or tap something into place. It actually is working out fairly well. And with that, I'm going to call it a video. So thank you guys for watching, we will see you in the next video, and have a good one. Then for the handle, I used two coats of tongue oil.